Well, Nazem Taleb is an executive board member of the opposition Rachad movement, and he joins us now live from the Algerian capital. Thanks so much for coming on the program, sir. First off, how much of this is really bowing to the will of the people versus an attempt by Algeria's elite and the military to retain power? Well, uh, let's call it that way. This is actually a military coup, to be honest with you, because um, the Constitution mentioned or states clearly that the Constitution Council has the power to uh, activate uh, the Article uh, 102, which is not the case here. Gaid Salah, which is the chief uh, uh, of the army of Algeria, has decided uh, to activate uh, the Article 102, which is not his prerogative to do that. So let's call it that way. It's just a military coup against the people's will to change the whole system. Because let's be clear here, the people on the streets are demanding for the whole system to get out. They are fed up with this system. Actually, this system is mainly a military system since 1962, and the people are quite clear on their demands to ask for Bouteflika and the whole regime to step down and to build a really um, a civil society where, where people can, they have their freedom, they can elect uh, whatever they want, and not the military who can appoint uh, any president actually to recycle the old regime. This is a, pro this is a, a really um, uh, what they have decided, the military, is just to recycle themselves and to keep the power for themselves and, unfortunately, not to, uh, to, uh, to meet uh, the people demands, the Algerian people demands, which, uh, as you know, they took up the streets for, uh, for millions Algerian, of Algerian people took up the streets for the past few weeks right now. How then do you think that this call by the army chief is going to go down with the people? Are the people going to accept this solution? Well, I think few people will accept that, but most of the people are fully aware how the regime is actually acting to maintain themselves on power. Uh, I think they are not naive. They have experienced um, 1992, where the military uh, engaged in a military coup against uh, people will. Uh, I think they have experienced what happened in the other Arab countries, especially in Egypt. And I think they, don't, they are not naive to accept what uh, the military, actually the senior, I'm not talking about uh, military as a whole, but senior member of the military have decided for the people on their behalf and against their will. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you for that. That's Nazim Talib, an executive board member of the opposition at Rachad Movement.